What's shaking guys, Magic Activator here back at it again for episode number 18 of our Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. Now in the last episode, we challenged the Ecritique City Gym and got ourselves a Fog Badge, uh, which was pretty exciting. So if you missed the last episode, you should definitely go and check that out. But today we are headed to Olivine City, which is the next location on the map that we need to go to. So if you are hyped for some more Pokemon Soul Silver and want to show your support on this series, be sure to hit that like button down below for us. Give it your magic touch because your support is always great appreciate it but let's go over our team really quickly just to make sure everybody knows what's going on up front is Juvia Archangel level 24 holding the splash plate to power up its water gun and bubble beam also rocking smoke screen and focus energy next up is the starter you guys voted for Bellarive our Milotic level 25 holding the lucky egg with surf which I actually taught it in between episodes because I figured you know what surf's better than water gun and we're gonna need that coming up pretty soon decided not to give it to Kingdra just because Kingdra will also uh, learn some pretty decent water type moves uh or it can learn some pretty decent water type moves in the future depending on what's going on at least a little bit better than my lot it can get i feel so i decided to go ahead and rock out with just putting surf on my lot it. plus uh, it's a little bit difficult to get hms off and i didn't want to put just throw surf on everybody even though surf is a really really good move so we're just gonna rock out with it on Bellary for now might teach it to Kingdra later we'll see but anyway Bellary's also got twister water pulse and recover I got on a little tangent there I apologize about that but next up is pearl or dragonite level 24 holding the Draco plate to power up its twister also rock and slam dragon rage and thunder wave uh, then we've got Charlie, our Charmeleon, level 26, holding the Quick Claw, which has uh, come through quite a few times for us, uh, rocking out with Cut, Dragon Rage, Ember, and Smoke Screen. Then we've got Livewire, our Elect the Buzz, level 27, holding the Zap Plate with Quick Attack, uh, Low Kick, Shockwave, which is boosted by that Zap Plate, and Extra Sensory. And last but not least, we've got Body, our Dusknoir, level 26, holding the Choice Band with Headbutt, Shadow Sneak, Pursuit, and Confuse Ray. And really, really, I wish... I had a better item to put on body besides the um, besides the choice band, but uh, for now, for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna rock with it and uh, see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and battle this guy, but we do get a couple of new encounters in this episode, uh, which is pretty pretty exciting. We've also got plenty of trainer battles that we're gonna have to uh, get through as well. Which, to be honest, I'm probably gonna uh, speed up through uh, for the most part. Just because I don't, you know, they're, they're trainer battles. I'd really like to, you know, continue progressing through. Because we've been doing pretty good, I think, uh, as in terms of progression. We had a little break there. The Goldenrod City area, I felt like, was a little bit slow, maybe, us getting through there. Because we spent an, ep an entire episode, basically, going around the city. But, uh, honestly, I, I want to keep the uh keep the progress going while also not keeping episodes incredibly long i don't know uh how you guys feel about episode length and stuff and what what length of episodes you guys um prefer to have but i know that if you're short on time and stuff it's a lot easier to watch a shorter a shorter episode so keeping them closer to 25 minutes is probably ideal for you guys i would assume but uh Anyway, my, my philosophy has always been your guys' time is valuable and, you know, I don't want to waste any more of it than I have to. So I guess we'll go ahead because it looks like we're going to kind of be forced to um, get an encounter here somewhere. I guess we can battle this guy before we before we jump in. But after we battle him, uh, I might could have snuck up on him and got around him. But he's got a Smeargle, which is pretty, pretty, you know, not... Not not anything to, for us to worry about. We're just going to blow through them. Honestly, really, really easy Pokemon to defeat. Oh, boy. Okay. So, here's the deal. We just had something happen that I meant for us to talk about. And... I haven't done it yet and that is we just ran into a roaming legendary so here is here's the deal I'm pretty sure that normally in a Nuzlocke at least from what I've seen in the past people say that for roaming legendaries you generally do not count them as your first encounter because obviously roaming legendaries never attack they always flee 
on the first turn. Like you'll have one chance to attack, but then they're gonna flee that turn. So basically if we counted this as our first encounter, we would basically have to chuck a Pokeball at a level 40 legendary Pokemon and hope that we caught it. And if we didn't, then that would be our encounter for this area, which is kind of not fair. To be completely honest like even if you put it to sleep i'm pretty sure it can still run so to me that's the, it's not fair to to count that and i'm pretty sure that that's how most people handle it um besides it looks like they're not going to be randomized too so technically speaking uh just according to the way that we've been playing the rest of the game with uh using randomized pokemon as tokens anyway i feel like it shouldn't be a bit, that big of a deal to you guys but it is good to know that they aren't going to be randomized because if we run into them and we hear the music we'll know that these are in fact the roaming legendary so we're not so what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to dip out of this i can't escape it doesn't matter he's going to flee this battle uh and we're just going to uh re-encounter so that's something that's going to probably happen a few times Oh, okay, so th that is weird. So it does play the same music. That's weird. So our first encounter is a Raikou. The roaming legendary was a Raikou. This is our first encounter. It is legitimately a Raikou. <laughs> okay, that's kind of wild. Coincidence? Coincidence? That is ridiculous. That's actually insane. Okay. So the question is, what can I do to you? Um, what level are you? Oh, I don't even have, I don't even have, oh man. Um, I feel like I can probably go into live wire and probably use quick attack. That's wild. For a second, I was like, wait, can you just keep running into the roaming legendaries? Because, like, I did not, I, I genuinely, 100% was not expecting to run into a Raikou right after. Okay, that's perfect. That's the perfect amount of damage. Oh, no, it had roar. All right, well, there went that encounter. I forget, I wasn't thinking about Roar. Man, that's so upsetting. Raikou was a great encounter. I know my reaction to that was probably a little bit weird because I genuinely was convinced for a second that we had just ran into the Raikou again or the Entei or something like that. That was so strange, man. Just back to back, and this is a Jirachi. Which honestly shouldn't be that big of an of an issue. It really shouldn't be that big of an issue. We'll just hit it with a few shadow sneaks. What? You had a potion? That's fair. I mean, I guess it is because I have potions, so it's one of those. That's one of those like, and you have rest. Beautiful. It's one of those double standards where it's like it's okay for me to heal, but it's annoying when. Oh my goodness, this is going to be actually obnoxious. The thing just keeps wanting to use rest. And there's an Eevee, so let's go into... Um, you know what, let's get Pearl in here. Pearl has been kind of sitting in the back not doing a whole lot the past few episodes. Man, that's really, really... I didn't think about Roar. I had completely forgotten about... Did you hit me with one sand attack and then I missed Dragon Rage like three times? That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. I don't know. What else to say about it besides it's ridiculous? No, I don't want your number. You threw sand in my eyes. That's insulting. What are the odds, man? What are the odds that... Bro, Raikou. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. Okay. The crazy part about this, too, is we, we ended up losing... Ironically enough, we ended up losing the encounter anyway because... <sighs> I'm sad. I'm actually kind of sad about how that event unfolded. I mean, we could have had ourselves a Raikou. And I feel like we could have caught it. I feel like we could have caught it. I knew 100% we weren't catching the, the roaming Raikou, but... Um, 
I wasn't I wasn't entirely sure about Don't don't play with me. Don't play with my heart. It's not okay. It's not okay. Like it was cool the first time, but now it's just insulting because oh gosh, that's a registeel. That is a registeel, which sounds like explosion. This is why Vadi is here. That is why Vadi is on the team. That's why I didn't add a uh, uh, Fampy, which is what I really wanted to add to the team. But that is the exact reason that I didn't. <sighs> bro, 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 bro. I feel like you said you were sending him bonds like. Okay, yeah. I wasn't 100% sure. Sometimes, like, whenever I'm talking, I don't completely pay attention. And now you have Twister as well. Um. Question is, I think I'd rather get rid of Water Gun to be honest. I kind of want to keep Smoke Screen and Focus Energy because Focus Energy uh, with Sniper is a really nice combination. And then on top of that, the fact that. Okay. Whoa. Oh, yeah, this is an event. We have to do this. And this is, uh, this is Boba. This is Boba. He is, um,. I believe the guy who's in charge of the Safari Zone, which was uh, a thing that they added in the remakes. So uh, we'll just we'll just go with a pretty generic vo voice here. Um, oh, what are you? Ho what you are holding is uh, what they call a Pokedex. Uh, I haven't seen one of those in ages. My name is Bobo. Is Boba? Uh, I I used to run a Safari Zone in Fuchsia City, but it was becoming out of date with new entertainment options coming out. I decided to go overseas to learn the newest technology and open a state-of-the-art safari zone in Cyanwood. It may be more than a coincidence that we are chatting. Why don't you reg we register each other's numbers in our polka gears? I can give you a call once the safari zone is open, but uh, before I call anyone else, do you want to register? Sure. I mean, I don't know why he's interested in us, but... I guess we'll go ahead and tell it. Get, get his number. He's kind of important, I guess. I'll let you know over the Poke Gear once it's ready. I don't know why I'm having a difficult time reading. I'm trying a slightly different setup on recording here uh, that I hope is going to uh, make things a little bit cleaner for me uh, and easier. But here I am doing a terrible job of reading, so I don't know if I don't know if that's that's actually gonna gonna work the way I, I had intended for it to got tm67 bide dope that's a great that's a great tm yo king Drew. oh jeevy is holding something hello it seems too important to let go is it your splash plate is that what's happening sorry juvia Jeez. it must be super important if you don't want to let go of it what the deal is? What the deal is? I'm gonna talk to it again. See if it'll let me have it. Yeah. Whatever. So let's go in here. Oh, yeah. Mill tank farm. The mill tank ranch. My mill tank ain't giving me milk no more. This here farm's got famous milk. Most everyone wants a drink. It'll give lots of milk if... If and you feed it lots of bears, I reckon. I tell you what. Our milk even goes out to Kanto. So if you're so if our own milk tank won't give us any milk, we're in trouble. Oh, I could have just walked right through. I didn't even have to didn't have to go come in here. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna talk to these milk tank. I don't think that the Pokemon give you anything in this gen, but I'm gonna talk to these milk tank. Just because. Yo, why do I feel like Mill Tank milk has to be the most delicious milk ever? It's cry is weak. Give an Ornberry to Mill Tank. Yes, I'll do it. It's cry is weak. I'm gonna give you another Ornberry. A little healthier. Ooh. Yes. Pop them orange berries. Pop them orange berries, Mill Tank. I need you to make some milk. Oh, I have no more orange berries. No, Mumu is still is sick. She needs lots of orange berries. Yo, I wish I had some more to give you. 
Anyway, like I said, I think I feel like I feel like Mil Tank Milk. I feel like Moo Moo Milk is probably it's like probably the consistency of milk, but I feel like it tastes like a milkshake. I don't know why. I just feel like I feel like that's how it has to be. I know that's probably ridiculous, but I don't know. Just I feel like I feel like that's 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 got to be that's got to be how it is. Okay, so it looks like I can't get to that item. I need a rock climb at some point. So let's battle some trainers here, and we get a new encounter here on Route 39 as well. You've got a Omanite, or an Omastar. Omanite, yeah, that is Omanite. Zangoose. Zangoose, Zangoose, Zangoose. You can catch the foot. Catch the foot. Swords dancing. Not, not, not cool, man. Not cool. Actually, not cool. Yo, question of the day. I haven't asked a question of the day in a while. Ooh, Thunder Punch. Ooh, ooh, Thunder Punch. Base power 75, accuracy. Mm. Cannot be evaded. I almost want to, uh, its accuracy is 100. For some reason I was thinking it was lower accuracy. Oh, I'm thinking of Thunder Fang. Thunder Punch is higher accuracy. I'm gonna teach it. I don't remember if you're a physical attacker or a special attacker, but we're gonna rock out with Thunder Punch. Either way, it's got more base power, so I'm cool with it. Um... But question today, and I know I haven't done as good of a job lately as of asking the questions in the actual videos, so um, I apologize for that. But question of the day: What what Pokemon do you think would be I was trying to think how I was phrasing the question, and then I see an Arceus on the field. Okay. <laughs> um, you've got to be heavy, right? You've got to be heavy. You got a, th a low kick has got to body you, right? You got to be heavy. Oh my goodness! <gasps> no! 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 <gasps> Livewire, you're a monster! Livewire, you're a monster! Get rid of this thing! Live wire just lived in earth power from an Arceus. We're eight levels higher, but I don't care. That's ridiculous. That's actually insane. <laughs> Bro. Okay. Anyway, question of the day. What, like, food or, like, what, I was going to say what Pokemon do you think would taste the best as, like, a food? I feel like that's that's kind of a weird question because I was thinking about Moo Moo Milk and I was thinking like if there's one thing from the Pokemon world that I would like to try IRL it would be Moo Moo Milk because like I said I feel I feel like it would taste like a milkshake but like I guess maybe I should say what food object or Pokemon from you know the Pokemon world do you think is I'll probably fa fr phrase this better on the actual layout but um what what like food or what Pokemon do you think would taste delicious in the Pokemon world because I, I say Pokemon because you know you have stuff like Slowpoke Tail right you have Slowpoke Tail which apparently must be super good because you know Team Rocket was out there trying to sell it for uh for like a million Poke Dollars which is kind of insane so it must be pretty good you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying but also you know like I feel like I feel like there's a lot of water types like water type Pokemon like fish Pokemon and stuff like that that would probably taste pretty good because seafood is the jam Lyra I don't want to talk to you I don't want to talk to you I really don't I want to fight these guys who have Palkias for some reason catch this twister it didn't do too much as long as you don't hit me with your own dragon type move we're okay as long as you just keep water pulsing as long as I just keep not attacking you back, Palkia, that'd be great. Don't, don't want, don't want the number. Just, just hung up on somebody else. That was, I technically I didn't hang up on them because I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't answer the phone to begin with. But, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like I could blow you back, but I'm not going to. I don't want to deal. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I just want to get through these trainers. I want to get an encounter 
that doesn't roar me away. Yo, for a second, I was really scared that I was going to need another electric type. You know, to be honest, to be honest, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Because uh, Electabuzz actually has static. It wouldn't be a bad idea for me to go back and maybe use a token in an area where I know I can get an electric type. Although I'm afraid to use one on Raikou now because it roared me out. But I know that you can get, I know that there's Shinx in that one pond. I know that there are for sure Shinx in that one pond. And there were actually uh, some, whatchamacallums, Jolteons, Jolteons in, uh, in the Slowpoke well. And be honest, I wouldn't even be mad about getting a Jolteon. And that's a horsey, which normally I would be super excited about. I was still kind of excited to run to a horsey, but we already have Juvia, so that's that is dupes. So we get to re-encounter. I love horsey. Horsey is my favorite. Horsey is hands down my favorite, like, basic stage Pokemon. It's so adorable. Horsey is so adorable. And that's a Glaceon. Speaking of Jolteon, we just found a Glaceon, which is not bad. That's Ice type. And pretty decent bulk. Pretty decent bolt. I don't think you get roar. I hope. Wait, no, you do. You can have roar. I don't know if you learn it by level up or not. But I'm pretty sure you can get roar. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a super potion on live wire. Bro, if we. I think I'm gonna have to use another one just to just to make sure I don't want to take any chances okay helping hand yeah I'm pretty sure you shouldn't have um, roar I, I think you get it as TM or something like that but I know you get I or at least I know that Vaporeon gets roar cuz uh, it, it can be kind of obnoxious when stealth rock is up um, I'm gonna quick attack you. I think you can take a quick attack. I think you can take a quick attack. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. So let's let's see if we can land one more. If we could land one more quick attack. Kind of scared to try and do it again. All right. Let's just throw a great ball. Cross our fingers. Hope for the best. See if we cannot get ourselves this Glaceon, which is a male. Which is a male, so we need a male nickname for this Glaceon. We also need to actually catch the Glaceon, which is apparently not wanting to cooperate very well with us. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, sweet. So we got ourselves a Glaceon. Um, the question is, what do I want to name... Glaceon. It's a male, which makes it a little bit more difficult. I feel like I could come up with something. Um, it causes small ice crystals to form by uh, lowering the temperature of the surrounding atmosphere. Oh, what is what is the name? What is the name of? Ah, I got I got to look it up. I can't. It's on the tip of my tongue. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. What is his name? What is his name? Paku! That's what it is. Paku from Avatar. Alright. Yeah. Paku. That's what it is. So we're going to name you Paku. He was the uh, the guy from the Northern Water Tribe who taught uh, Katara how to waterbend. After some great... Uh, after some great um, resistance, he didn't quite want to teach her, but he ended up teaching her, which is pretty cool. Also, it turns out he was the former love interest of Katara's. I'm spoiling it if you haven't seen that show. I need to stop. Okay. Wow. Okay. 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 Anyway, technically he's a waterbender, but he's from the Northern Water Tribe. It's icy there. He also can, you know, do stuff with ice. So, you know what? Now, I'm kind of nervous 
I don't think I battle you here. I don't think I battle you here. Don't make me be wrong right now. Don't let me be wrong right now. Okay, don't let me be wrong right now. You again? There's no need to be alert. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here, and it's supposedly taking care of sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. Huh, <laughs> boo-hoo. Just let sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless to me. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It may make you a bit of a battle of a better trainer. Man, he is one cocky son of a gun. Like, we've defeated him in every battle. We've defeated him in every battle, and yet here he is still just flaunting and a-flexing, which is crazy. Um, so I feel like I'm... I can't, now that we've made it to Olivine, I kind of want to wrap things up with this episode, I think. And... Uh, I think the best thing to do... I want to talk to this guy because I feel like... Okay, he's he doesn't give you... I'm trying to think where the next fishing rod is. I think the next fishing rod is the one they give you at the Lake of Rage. And then I think they give you the super rod. I think you get good rod at the Lake of Rage. And then I think you get the super rod at... In the post game in Kanto. I think. But... Anyway, we technically could go ahead and get some encounters here as well. There's, I think, about three encounters we could actually get. Two or three. But I think for now we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. In the next episode, we'll grab some encounters. And we'll also probably uh, be heading into the lighthouse and doing our mission there. So I hope you enjoyed this episode as always. If you did, be sure to hit that like button down below for us. Give it your magic touch. But... For now, I'm going to make like an Abra and get out of here. So have yourselves a good day. Stay cool. And we will catch you next time. <clears throat> Man, I was fighting a, fighting a burp in that outro.